I am here as your president to proclaim before the country, before the world, this monument will never be desecrated. These heroes will never be defaced. Their legacy will never, ever be destroyed. Their achievements will never be forgotten. And Mount Rushmore will stand forever as an eternal tribute to our forefathers and to our freedom. Those who seek to erase our heritage want America to forget our pride and our great dignity so that we can no longer understand ourselves or America's destiny. My fellow Americans, it is time to speak up loudly and strongly and powerfully and defend the integrity of our country. We will proclaim the ideals of the Declaration of Independence. America's future is in our hands. And ladies and gentlemen, the best is yet to come. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash. I say double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone for teaching his word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And this is the brother Gabar Yahweh from GMS Hawaii, coming to you with another lesson. And it's on this video that you see in front of you. And what you just saw and heard was the pride of Esau. You know, and his his pride is just is deceiving him, man. For him to say uh, uh, that no one's going to destroy these these monuments, these monuments are going to stand forever and eternity, and they're going to honor their heroes. But who are their heroes, man? Their heroes are a bunch of vile, detestable men. Okay, you look at George Washington, uh, a slave owner. Okay, and and what did he do? He he used his the teeth of his slaves, which those slaves were Israelites, okay? He used their teeth as dentures, man. What kind of wicked shit is that? You see? Or Thomas Jefferson, another slave owner, a demon slave owner, okay? Child rapist, you know what I mean? You got uh, Theodore Roosevelt, another demon. He came from a long line of demons, and then you got Abraham Lincoln, another demon, man, who didn't even want to free the so-called Negroes, man. Okay? And they, they make a big deal about the Emancipation Proclamation when this devil said, even in Ada's own mouth, that if he didn't have to free, uh, uh, and he used, to, he used the word nigger a lot, if he didn't have to free any niggers, he wouldn't. He was just trying to maintain power, which in reality, they were just trying to... Uh, uh, they were trying to weaken the South, man. You know, because those they were strong agricultural states. But that's another lesson for another time. The the point of the matter is, who are their heroes? A bunch of vile, wicked men. This is the uh, this is Psalms, chapter twelve, verse eight. I'll start at uh, seven. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'll start at six. The words of the Lord are pure. Pure words. The words of the Lord are pure words. At silver tried in a furnace of, of of earth, purified seven times. And one thing that word of the Lord is that he was going he's going to destroy Babylon the Great. And Babylon the Great is America. Okay, this place, this place where they exalt these wicked and evil men. Okay, this place that. Uh, in order for it to be built, it had to be built on bloodshed, through violence, okay, robbery, theft. That's how this place was established. It wasn't. It wasn't established on so-called diplomatic uh, uh, or, or democratic, so-called democratic values. It was a hostile takeover, man. And they didn't just stop with destroying the so-called native Indians, the tribe of Gad and Reuben, and, 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 and Issachar. In the West and in, and in the Southwest, they they brought over Judah, Benjamin, and Levi in hardcore slavery through through uh, through the transatlantic slave trade, man, and forced us to build this land, man. That's how this place was established, man. So much so that there are people that they got on the, on the side of a mountain 
a stolen property. America is purely stolen property. Now it belongs to you. Edomites now, yeah, that's cool, whatever. But the Most High is going to recompense you for that, man. Let me go back to this uh, Psalms 12 and 7. It says, Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. It says, The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. And that's what you see going on right now. When Trump was saying, my fellow Americans, he wasn't talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. He was talking about his, his ilk, man, those Edomites, those people that look like him. Those are his fellow Americans, man. That's why this whole video, all you saw was a bunch of Edomites cheering. He said, you got some people that want to uh, 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 take away our pride and, 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 and erase our memory forever. Well, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is going to erase your memory forever, man. This is Job chapter 20, verse 4. Job 20, verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. And Esau, you're that you're the chief, you're the chief hypocrite, man. You're the chief hypocrite. All right. You an actor. You claim that you for one thing, but in reality, you for a whole nother thing, man. You don't want peace, you want war. Okay? But the scripture said the triumph of the wicked is short. And the wicked, the wicked. Is a so-called white man. All right? And his modern-day Edom, modern-day uh, uh, spiritually Sodom and Egypt is America. And this place is going to be destroyed. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reaches unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall, yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision in the night, man. They, the eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him, man. Right, so this place is not going to behold you anymore. When Yahweh Shai bring in these nuclear missiles and a chariot fire, to destroy this place is going to be eviscerated from off the face of the earth. This is going to be that lake of fire that's written about in Revelation. America is going to look like a big lake of fire, man. So where is where is Mount Rushmore going to be eternally, man? Mount, Mount Rushmore is going to be a dust heap. It's going to be a sand trap for, for, uh, for, for uh, uh, desert creatures, man. You see? But this is the pride of this devil. This is the pride of this devil, man. This is Obadiah 1 and 6. It says, matter of fact, uh, 1 and 3. The pride of thine heart hath, uh, matter of fact, I'll start at uh, 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. This is the nation of Edom. All right? A matter of fact, let me start at the top. Thus saith the Lord. Power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, concerning the Edom, which is the so called white man. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. An ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. And that's what these nations are doing. And that, that ambassador goes back to uh, Gabal Nasser, man, who told them Edomites that went into Jerusalem, went into Israel. He said, You'll never have peace here because you, you left black and you came back white. You see, because that land don't belong to them, just like America don't belong to them. They went on a stealing spree when they came back into power, man. All right? And they propped themselves up to be the people of the Lord. They propped themselves up to be the, the, the saviors of the planet. They propped themselves up to be this, this mighty nation. But in reality, the Most High set them up to do all of this so he can destroy them, man. It says, the, it says the, verse 3. Uh, I'm sorry, verse 2. Behold, I've made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. These nations hate you, Edomites, man. A lot of them won't come out automatically and say it because they're benefiting from your system right now. But these, these other nations, they can't stand you, Edomites, man. Because what did you what did you bring to these people? And now they're complaining. I had a picture of uh, that was taken out here in Hawaii 
on a, on a, um, on a highway, they had a, a big, you know, a big sign draped over the highway that said, uh, you're on stolen land, man. Cause just like when the Edomites took over America, when they came to these Pacific Isles, they took it over from these, uh, Jeff, Jephetic people that were living here, man. They whitewashed their, 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 their monarchy, uh, through Britain. And then ultimately, uh, this land was given to America as an annex through annexation, man. And now it's a so-called state. But you still got a lot of people here complaining. So these people, they're greatly despised. You Edomites are greatly despised, even amongst your own people. Go over to the UK. The so-called white man don't like the white man from America, man. So it says, behold, I've made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And when you read, when you watch this video, okay, this video, it tells you exactly just that. It's a it's an exact illustration of this devil's pride, man. And then he's talking about the, the best is yet to come. Well, guess what? Yahweh Bashmal Shah is going to destroy this place. That's going to be the best. Okay? This place is going to be wiped off the face of the earth. That's going to be best, man. Okay, you Edomites, you're not going to extend your rule real quick. This is Job. This is Job. Job. Uh, was it 14? Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So you have a bounds, a rulership. Your rulership is bounded. And you can't cross that boundary to extend your rulership, even though that's what these devils really want to do. When they talk about the best is yet to come, they're referring to the so-called New World Order. They're referring to a, 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 a time where the whole world is chipped and they can control them through uh, RFID or NMC technology. Mainly they're chipped. They can kill who they want with impunity. Well, guess what, man? Those days are over. Those days are over. You were used as a whip. To chastise the children of Israel For our, uh, uh, us Who is us For our iniquities But now that, that time is up man So you can't cross that bounds You can't extend that bounds You know what I'm saying You're not going to be able to do that Okay Seeing his days are determined The number of his months are with thee Thou has appointed his bounds That he cannot pass Right So when How about Shema was shy Say your time is up your time is up. There's nothing you can do about that. I don't care how proud you want to get. I don't care how uh, patriotic you want to be. It's not going to extend your rulership. All right? Okay? This is a... Uh... Slocky. Yeah. This is uh, Isaiah chapter, uh, hey, uh, Isaiah 32 and 5. The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful, man. And that's who, that's who Esau is, man. You're the vile person. You're the churl. And it's going to come a point where you're not going to be bountiful no more. For the vile person will speak villainly and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. Let me read that again. For the vile person will speak villainly and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord, Yahweh, to make empty the soul of the hungry. He will cause he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail, man. You see? And that's and that's, that's that's what this devil does. All right. You see? This is a. Uh, This is Jeremiah 51. I'm going to start at 51 and 8, but I'm going to start at 7. This is Jeremiah 51 and 7. It says, Babylon have been a golden cup. Babylon is America. Okay? Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh, Bashim Shah's hand, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken her wine, therefore the nations are mad. So the nations, they drunk that wine, which is your, your, your democracy, your 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 free enterprise, 
okay, your 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 economic system, all your loans, because that's that's a lot of that, and then and then all the other your other philosophies, man, your your gay and transsexuals and lesbian rights, your your women uh, uh, worship and empowerment. So all these nations, they drunk of your wine. All these nations got in bed with you. And now they're mad. Okay? Now they're mad. When you look up that word for mad, in the Hebrew, that word for mad is halal. Okay? And it says to shine, to sh a shine thing. Uh, it says to flash for flight, to boast, be boastful. Yep. And all these nations are boastful, man. They hella boastful, man. It says to be praised, be made praiseworthy, commended, to boast, to make a fool of, to make into a fool. And that's what Esau has done. He's made these nations into fools. He made them boastful, prideful, just like he is, man. That's why these nations, they boast themselves against the children of Israel, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, West Indians, and Haitians, man. That's why they do that, man. Because they're taking pattern after Esau. You see? Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bound for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. And that's what's going to happen. There's going to be a great divide amongst them people. And when these other nations, especially those that are making millions and billions of dollars over here, realize that the, the money train is stopping, realize that all hell is breaking loose, they're going to be trying to get the hell up out of here to go back to their people, man. You see? And it says, uh, it says, go everyone into his own country for the judgment reach for her, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come, let us declare Zion, the work of the Lord, our power. And that's what we're doing. The Israelites, the prophets and the Lord. Okay. We're declaring Zion. We're letting you know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is coming back to destroy this place. And he's going to save his elect, the remnant of his people, up out of this place, man. All right? And your pride is deceiving you, Esau. And you got the right one in office, man. Because that devil is a straight up prideful devil, man. Just like the rest of you Edomites, you low level Edomites. And you high, you high level Edomites, man. Okay? So I just wanted to bring this out. I hope brothers are edified, man. Uh, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, double honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone for teaching his word of truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akin. Keep pushing, keep striving. And we're almost out of here. A hey, shalom.